you guys want to make banners just like this on your screen right now make sure to watch this whole video load up photoshop and actually first you want to load up cinema 4d i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the text as well let's just do that before we do anything else because this is one of the most important parts of the video i need you guys to really follow what i'm doing do not skip this is really because a lot of people just skip and they and their banner is completely just you know this could mess up your banner all right the text is important so just keep looking the lightroom is posted in my discord server so you need to join my discord server to get this lightroom right here and okay once you have the lightroom you can put whatever name um okay let's think of a name i don't want to use my own name hmm. all right we're just gonna use this name right here it's for my friends uh all right so yeah i'm gonna just put black on because i i kind of like it like with this black kind of more than the red so we're of course gonna change everything so don't worry you're gonna click here after you've done that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on you want to go to your folder, text render folder, whatever you want to call it, um, and call it 3D. This first uh, export, call it 3D at the end, all right? And then what you want to do is you just want to click here. And then this will render your thing. Wait till it's done. And okay, once it's done, what you want to do is you want to go back to this. You see where it says death? You want to put this to zero. You want to go back to the render thing and you want to change it to 2D. And now what you want to do is you want to export it as well. So yeah, that's your text done. Import it to Photoshop right here. As you can see, uh, you see where it says 3D, just call it 3D, so it'll be a bit easier. And 2D, you put the 2D over the 3D layer, just like that. And you wanna actually hold control, select this, and you can make it bigger. So our text is gonna be either here or here. I think we're gonna put it right here. Kinda like it like that. That's perfect size as well. Let's just put it in the middle. This is perfect. We're going to have it right there. And yeah. All right. So you're going to see this. This is also on my Discord server. So you're going to be needing this. Use of text PSD. You're going to be needing this for the effects. So yeah. See right here. Text main. What you want to do is you want to copy this. You want to press copy. Then what you want to do is you want to press paste on here on the 3D. And you see these cracks right here. You can choose to have them or you can choose to not have them. I'm gonna choose to have them so you just line it up like that doesn't need to be the most accurate thing ever and just boom to the 3d uh, take these two right here put them over and now you'll decide what colors are gonna be your banner I'm gonna make mine red uh, or actually hold on I've done blue red pink should I do green I, I haven't done green before I don't know how that might look I might just do red so um, you actually want to put it to red this right here so it looks red okay boom that's red okay now what you want to do is you want to go back here you want to go to the 2d you want to copy layer style and then click paste you let me know if i'm going too fast i'm really sorry what i'm just trying to show is that like right click here and then copy layer style and then paste it to your thing here is an image uh you can use any i'm just going to use this kaguya thing so just like that Alrighty, and now once you've done that, you have all of these right here. You can hold Control and Shift and paste them over, just like that, and it will look something like this. And now, once you've done that, you can. What you can do now is you can hold Control, hold Shift, press down here, uh, group it, hold Control, uh, and then uh, press J, and then Control E. And then you can hide this, call this backup. And what you want to do now here is you want to go to camera raw filter. And you want to mess around with the settings a little bit. So mess around with the settings. There isn't any specific settings for this. Just mess around. See what looks best. And yeah. So for this, I think this is going to look good. And then color grading we can do a bit like red so it looks more red there we go and that'll look like that now what you want to do now is you can call this camera raw you don't really have to do this it's just what i do then you can press ctrl j filter blur gaussian blur put it to 10 press lighten and then put this on like around 60 to 70 uh percent what you want to do is you want to press Control J, 
click filter, click blur, and then click uh, radio blur. And then make sure it's 10 spin and best or good. And it will look something like this. Now what you want to do is you want to do color dodge add and you want to do like 12 around there. So your text will look like this at the end, which is what you want. And you can merge it all. I don't think that's, it does a little change. So just group it. I think it's better if you group it and then call it the text. So that's your text done. By the way, guys, on this website right here, that's going to be in my description. You can get your packs. Um, there's actually a new pack coming soon right now. It's going to be perfect for banners just like this. It's going to be a perfect pack for anything you will be creating. So, yeah, just trying to say that. And, yeah, there we go. We're going to be using um, Levi Ackerman or whatever. How the fuck you say that name? But, hey, we're going to be using a Levi Ackerman. Okay. Uh, let's just make the background black. Uh, so basically we're gonna be using these three renders. I got all of these three from my pack from my winter pack actually as you can see my winter pack. So uh, Yeah It's in my pay hip as I yeah said <laughs> All right, once you have added the renders actually what I want you to do is you want to go to the uh, go to the Google and search up whatever character you have uh, And then a wallpaper you're, we're gonna create the background right now, so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that real quick So yeah, as you guys can see this is all you got to do um, All I did was I added a photo and add another one and use the eraser tool and Put the hardness on zero and just erase it. So it fades out like this. That's all you got to do for the background It's nothing really special and what you have after you've done that you want to hold control Press here and then Control E to merge both of them, and then you want to do Gradient Map. So click here and then Gradient Map, and you can have a black and white, of course. But what we're gonna have? Do not remove the black one or add a, back, a black one if there isn't one, and do red uh, since our banner is red. They're gonna be red, and now once you've done that, you can take the exposure. You can hold Alt, press here, and then put the exposure a bit down. And now what you can also do, uh, wait, let's just put this over that. What you can also do is you can create another layer, uh, use white and just press on the, where you want to highlight your like thing in the background. So just do that and then press overlay and you will see that it highlights whatever thing you like, you know, select. So, <laughs> so yeah, I could do that, but, um, I think we're just going to stick with the, it was it yeah it was overlay so you can do that and then like that so once you've done the done that you can group it and then call it background you can of course add more you're gonna add more to the background of course you'll see but now as we have the text and here's the backup text we do not need the backup text at the moment we can actually put text below everything this text below even everything oh, shit. so all right so here we have all the renders right this one goes actually behind the text just like that all right so what i actually want to do to this one to this render right here is i want to i want to where's the razor tool you want to fade it out a bit so it looks natural like that now I actually want to kind of like blur it in, if you know what I mean. You can do fill, opacity, and down. Like that. And we could also add a gradient map on top of that. There we go. And then we can merge it, and then we can, yeah. So that looks pretty all right. What I can do now is create another layer. Actually, click here, solid color, and then red. You want to click linear dodge add, and you want to press control I when you press on this. Once you've done that, you can start adding glows. Put the flow a bit down and look. See what I mean? You can add a glow effect to anything. But yeah, so that's that done. Uh, I think we could add a little motion blur to this if it does not mess anything up. Just 
just like that. All right. That is good. Once you have done that, you want to actually pick your favorite quote from the person from. So let's just do Levi Ackerman quote. I don't know if he has any. OK. Uh, OK, whatever. Let's just use this quote right here. What you want to do is you want to go to Photoshop and paste it in just like that. Uh, you want to move it so it's right here. You want to actually change the font to uh, I would go with Mirage Gothic, this font right here. And actually, let's make it a bit smaller. I would go with this font right here or I would go with the Arame font, which is this font. But we're going to go with the Mirage Gothic since this is a free font. I don't think it the Arame font is free. I'm not sure. And yeah. OK. So we're going to do something like that. Uh, once you actually know, that's terrible. Hold on. Like that. All right, once you've done that, you want to press blending options. You want to put an outer outer glow on it so you can see kind of the glow. Just like that, and that shouldn't be too much. And yeah, you could put the text a bit down just like that. All right, what you actually should do is go to the renders like these renders, these small renders, use camera raw filter and uh, fix up the settings. So put them a bit like like this, just add a bit of stuff. And I would suggest to take out the vibrance just to make it look like that exactly. And on the main render, you want to do camera raw filter. You want to mess uh, around with the settings on him as well, make him look better. So actually exposure a bit up, contrast a bit up. I would do highlights a bit down, maybe shadows a bit down as well. Maybe whites a bit up, up and then texture. I like to put it up this a bit up and this like that. And do not push. I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. All right. There you go. That looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, what I could do is go camera raw filter again and you could do color grading and you can add a bit of red to him. So it looks like he's red <laughs> or like, yeah, maybe not. All right. <laughs> so just like that, that's the render done. And here's the background. Of course, we'll have an exposure layer for the background. So like that. Okay. Okay. Wait, let's actually add a little bit of thingy to the text. So I like to do R E E S. Let me add a C then. Okay. Hold on like this. Uh, where's the text? Oh, here's the text. Just like that. You want to space it out a little bit, a little bit, uh, here and then 200 looks pretty. All right. And then we want to put it like that and then yeah I just like to add a little bit smaller letters in the middle it looks kind of cleaner you don't always have to do this well, you don't have to do this at all but you know I just like to do it okay it's time to fill out some space so what I like to do I like to use this Arame font right here I like to create text and um, I like to add a specific layer you can use another font for this I haven't texted another font yet but um, what I like to do, I gotta do my English keyboard. All right, there you go. So what I like to do is, okay, wait, what? Is this, this, type your name or whatever. So let's just do Levi Ackerman. And then uh, close it with a, this, now with the two dots. Is that two or one? I think that's two and slash slash. And this, there we go. So it looks something like this. Looks nothing special, but trust me, this is really clean. You can just copy it, change the text in the middle, and let's just do AOT since Attack on Titan. So we can add AOT over here. The Ackerman AOT. And we can do the name Reese. So we can 
copy this and we can add the name Reese. So what you actually can do with these text things, you can add like if the guy is a Valorant pro, just add like Valorant and then add like Radiant or whatever. You can add like small stuff like that, of course. But yeah, here we have your T Levi Reese, and then yeah, that should be good. Another thing I like to do with this font is create a thing this way. Uh, actually, no, this way. Just do that, and then make this really, really big, like this something like this place it like that and also place one over here oh and make sure these are under a few layers like that and what you want to do now is you actually want to take the razor tool I just want to erase some of like the sides and sh stuff um, so it looks something like that. And once you've done that, you can merge both of them, blending options and put it to red. There we go. It just adds a little bit of, you know, spice. <laughs> so now this is the fun part. You're going to open a pack. I recommend the balance pack by Strizzy. I do recommend this pack because it's a free pack and it has most of the packs. I mean, it has most of the stuff that pay packs have well not mine but you know what i mean so i'm actually going to be using my own pack in this video as well i'm sorry it's on my pay hip if you want it uh but um i'm going to be using the strizzy pack as well for you guys who want to do it free so yeah i'll be showing you guys so once you have downloaded this pack what you want to do is you actually i like to add a topo uh i like this one right here in the middle I like to put it under the renders under like in the background basically I'm gonna be showing you guys a little trick with this because you always want to add like a brush or something to the background to make it look better if you know what I mean always something trust just like that and put it over here and just brush out like this then you can copy the layer. <clears throat> My bad. Um, then you can actually do transform. I just got to follow. All right. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm not streaming, but um, I just have my things on. So you just want to copy it like this. Um, okay. Copy this one as well. Okay. Now I'm kind of doing it wrong now. Just realized. Okay, so actually, you wanna go back here. You wanna pre uh, place the thing here. Boom. Then you wanna copy this. Um, did I copy it? No. Control J, by the way, to copy. And you just wanna put it right here. So now we can start to like uh, transform horizontal so it matches the thing like that and then here as well just like that i like to add a little bit of like you know what i mean you, you see what it does all right you can tell what it does there we go just like that and yep when you go back to the pack, you want to click on the particles and you want to select this particles right here. These ones are used in a lot of banners, definitely this type of style banners. So I like to use them as well. Um, yeah, let's put them over like everything. That's what I usually do. Let's just add them right here and right here. So it gives that little star effect. What you want to do, there's more particles you want to mess around with. The, you can mess around with every particle. I like to add like these little small whatever things, you know. It just, just add a lot of particles. The particles are really, really small, so you can add a lot. But don't add too much, because if you add too much, it's going to be a problem. So just add a bit of everything. <laughs> but not too much, remember. Like these ones right here, these are fine. 
just add them particles are really 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 good and cc's color corrections uh i'm gonna be showing you guys one at the end which is really really important as well so yeah um oh yeah i just saw this particle right here you can press ctrl u to change the color of it and then since we have a red let's just press colorize and red and then boom so we can actually add this as well looks an interesting particle definitely not the best render i could have picked i can tell there we go that's fine and now this one right here you can do gradient map let's just put it over put red here and then put dark red here so also red but just dark and then what you want to do is you want to reverse oh that didn't work okay maybe i do have to have black then yep all right so black works um yeah cool so we're gonna add these hearts because why not uh yeah so photoshop is really slow for me these days all right so just like that i like to add it right there uh, you could use this as well if you want to. You could use the, you could use this, you could use this. So this pack has really a lot of good um, things, particles. But uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna steal one of these things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal one of these stars, just like that. Press Control J, and you're gonna put it to your thing and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on top of the text so it gives that text a little, little bling effect i don't know what you want to call it okay now i gotta find the star so you see just like that okay i didn't mean to move it Just like that and just add it on the whole text just like that as you can see i've added a bit of like things to the text it looks a bit better what i want you to do now is go to the pack grab the cc's layer put it on top of everything and don't just delete this actually don't matter what they say all right there you go just keep that that's the free cc's from the strizzy pack that's not what i'm going to be using but i'm going to show you guys the whole thing all right here is my pack um this is my pack i'm just gonna use a rain stock for my pack i like to use rain stocks um not always but um sometimes sometimes it just makes the whole design look better so i'm just gonna show you guys real quick what i mean it's in my heavenly gfx pack so if you guys want that just go ahead pay hip like i said i don't want to promo my stuff too much but um yeah i like to put the fill a bit down just like that that looks perfect and yeah uh, this is the CCs and grading maps that I'm going to be using instead of the Strizzy, but I'm going to be showing you guys Strizzy as well. So the free version is Strizzy and then paid version is mine. And yeah, let's see what particles I have. Alright, there you go. I added a bit of particles. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to merge everything. So everything except the CCs. So what you want to do is you want to go here, here. You want to click the group button. You want to control J and then control E. This is going to be your backup. So you can just call this backup and boom. Now we're gonna apply the CCs, the free CCs actually. Uh, so yeah, this is the Strizzy ones. So this is the balance pack CCs, all right. So here, let's see what we have, okay. Okay. Yeah, these are, um, these are not the best, I will tell you. Um, yeah, so I guess this is the only one that's good. So what you can do now is actually, I wanna copy this. I wanna call this the paid since so it's going to be the paid cc and it's going to be the free and yeah let's see so boom um let's call it free and now we want to add camera raw filter so i'm actually going to be doing a side by side comparison at the end with the paid and free we're not side by side but uh all right contrast textures a bit up con this a bit up as well this a bit up and it should look like this yeah so that is the that is the free ones
now we're on to the paid ones here we have grady maps as well so this can change everything you'll see as you can see see i just changed the color just like that bro just like that that's how crazy this shit is but um yeah if you want my pack as i said link a description but um yes yeah, interesting um i could do this one not this kind of looked cool but um i don't know I don't know if I should go with it. Okay, we're gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go with this one. Uh, I've never actually used this one before. Anyway, let's go to the CC. So here we have this first CC. I actually like the CC a lot. I just want to put the opacity bit down. Then we have this CC. Okay, this is kind of. I like to put a lot on. Makes a like the the ones that make everything look good. Put them on. All right, let's choose this one, but then I'll pass you a bit down. All right, so here you have everything we need. <clears throat> let's just remove the ones we don't need. <sighs> so there we go. Now you want to merge this, and then let's call this paid. Paid. So um, now let's add camera raw filter as well. We're still not done with the banner. We're still doing the finishing touches. I'm going to be showing you guys everything. So do not worry. Make sure you guys are keep watching. Let's put the this a bit up, this a bit up. Boom. Color grading. We can put a bit of like bluish blue. I like to put a bit of blue. Blue, pinkish, purple, bluish. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. Okay, I see. So we're gonna do like this. And here is the final result. Or should we not have any camera roll filter? Um, no, let's just keep the camera roll filter. I think. All right, so once you have done that, as you can see, here's the pay it, here's the free. So it kind of does make a change, but what you actually want to do now is you want to control J, filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. We're going to be doing everything right now, custom CCs and everything. Boom, let's put it to 60A. You want to control J that another time and you want to do linear dodge add. Put this on 12 or around 9. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, once you've done that, you can merge every single one. You can create a new control J actually. So copy this one, blur, and radial blur, and then do zoom. I like to do this a lot on my banners. Uh, so you can just razor tool this like that. And I'll have this little effect going in type thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Here you can do filter gallery again. And do paint dubs. Do copy these settings two and three. And then simple. Click OK. It's going to look something like this. Uh, once you have done that, uh, your banner should look like this. So yeah, I hope it's a good tutorial. And I hope you guys did enjoy this. And like and subscribe. And see you guys.